and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you on this overcast, chilly day. We're heading back to the Botanic Garden to clean some more seeds and get them ready for our big plants or seed swap coming up. Slowly but surely making my way there. Not pulling a wagon today, but still hoofing it. I'm looking forward to the second day of working. This is great. I enjoy prepping seeds to give to others. It's a wonderful blessing. Okay, I'm going to look forward to seeing you here in a little bit. I will bring you back as soon as I get my table set up and ready to start cleaning some more seeds. I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Okay, I'm finally set up and today I will be doing Mad Dog Skull Cap, also known as Scutellaria latrifolia. Of course, I'm going to use the screens and always use a glove. Let me move the camera down. And of course, we're wanting to break down the seed pot. And as you can tell, it's a messy job. Okay, I'll bring you back when I change screens. I got a lot to break down. See you in a bit. Okay, I am moving down to a smaller screen and going to try to get this 
broke down even more and start getting the seeds out. And like I said, you gotta wear your gloves. What you're trying to do is get it broke down as much as possible. And when the chafe won't break down anymore, then you dump it. Ate a lot of seeds in the mad dog skull. <laughs> Like I said, you want to make sure to wear gloves. And then the next step is I will be taking the seeds out of this. Once I get done with all this, I will see you back here in a little while. Okay, I have the plant material broke down and the seeds freed. So now you elevate the cookie sheet just a little bit. You don't want it too high because then your seeds will bounce out. You just lift the chafe up and the seeds roll down. Let me move the camera down so you can see better.
Oh yeah, it is. It has been for a little while. And that rain, let me tell you, is cold. Kind of hoping the ice misses us. You know, it's not supposed to get below 30 until tonight. Oh no, tonight we're supposed to go down to 19. Yeah, but, but the, and then the rain, the rain tonight, the rain is supposed to be coming now. And then when it gets cold, it's when the rain they, stops. They changed that. They come. That's not what they're saying now. I don't think they know. I don't think they know. But from what I can see on the radar, the rain's going to be here as the temperatures drop. Because the cold front's coming through at the same time. It's coming a different way than the rain is. And the two are going to collide on top of us. But uh, further east, it's going to get harder. I prefer just the snow. I would be perfectly fine with this snow. Snow is easy to drive on. Snow is easy to handle, and it also insulates the plants from the cold temperatures. Ice, ice does too. Actually, the ice does more damage, believe it or not, than the snow does. Well, it tends because, like on blueberries, that's the first thing they do with blueberries is when they know it's cold, snow is coming through, they like irrigate, they Because what happened uh, last year when we had snowpocalypse, that, it was the ice that destroyed the winter wheat. They said if the snow would have come through first to insulate the wheat, the ice wouldn't have had a chance to, and the ice killed a lot of the winter wheat. Yeah, it, depend, it all depends on the plants. See all the seeds right here. You just now, of course, it's still going to be a little bit of chafe in it, but you just keep on working. <coughs> and unfortunately, it's dusty as can be. So, if you have breathing problems, you might want to wear a mask and also have something to drink because your mouth is going to get a lot of dust. But it's very peaceful and meditative to clean the seeds and know that they're going to go to, to the swamp and people who really want the plants will be able to get them and it brings me the happiness to get to do that. And of course, for everybody local, I will post the information about the big uh, seed swap coming up. But you can see the little bitty black specks. That is a little bitty mad dog skull cap seat. And then once in a while you just scoop the seeds down and don't roll all the way down. And just keep on working them until you don't see any more seeds. And I'll bring you back as soon as I get done with these and I'll get started on the Siberian mugwort. I'll see y'all after a while. Okay, I am the last person sitting. So I am fixing to start cleaning Siberian motherwort. 
seeds. Ooh. And let me tell you, they are sticky. Not as in stick to you, they are prickly. And I'm fixing to pause it and go get me another pair of gloves. Another glove. Hold on. Okay, I am back. I had to take my glove off just to start the camera. These are loaded with seeds. I might not have to do a whole lot of work to get the seeds out of them. But definitely going to have to have a glove. And as you can see, look at all those beautiful Siberian motherwort seeds. And now that I won't, I don't feel like I'm invading anybody's privacy, I can talk louder too. Let me... Turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Lots of beautiful seeds in this batch of Siberian motherwort. You will just get the stem screen. One, you definitely want to wear gloves because of the rubbing on metal and the plant material is very sticky. But it looks like this is going to be the easiest one to get seeds out of. And it's a nice break from doing skull cap. I started out with hoary skull cap, then moved to. Um, Mad Dog Skull Cap, and now I'm doing Siberian Mother Wars. Some of them strip really easy, and I got seeds popping over here. So I'm going to have to be really careful and try to make sure that no seeds hit the floor. And I can hear the, the rain's building up outside. We're supposed to have a chance for wintering mix later on, so, but I'm here till 3.30. I've got a lot of it. Um, cleaned up and organized so all she has to do is come back in tomorrow morning and pick up the crates of everything that's been done I have had an absolute blast I know a lot of people wonder how could you be having fun it is it's so much fun and plus the fact knowing that People are going to be able to get seeds at the seed swap. But look at all those seeds. There's a lot of seeds under there. And a lot of seeds over here. And a lot of seeds over there. There's seeds everywhere. But I am more than happy do this. And plus it helps further my education. And the bottoms fell out outside. And not that you have to watch out the tape will go up under your gloves as well. You want to make sure. 
here that you rub from to make sure you get all those seeds out of those seed pods. Of course, I'm going to take it down several stages in mesh size to make sure out. And like I said, they're, they're sneaky. you got to watch them. And I'll take it down several sizes of mesh to make sure I get all the seeds out. Well, i got quite a bit to try to get done in a little bit of time. And they stick to you. Of course, now the chafe will go into the bucket. Let's see, you'll be able to see. All the seeds. A little bit of shape, but that's okay. Look at all those beautiful Siberian motherwort seeds. And I will bring you back as soon as I get this batch this round done and I start to screen it again. See you at the wall. Well, it's almost time for me to head out. I got most of everything packed up and I've been working on the Siberian motherwort. This will be the last sifting for seeds. I've got most of it all broke down. Believe me, there's plenty of seeds in there, so I'm going to have to go through it another day, but I have saved a lot, a lot of Siberian motherwort seeds. Of course, this will be saved to go back through another day. I know there's some seeds in here too. There's seeds on the table. They have flown all over the place. But storms are getting a little stronger. It's definitely getting a whole lot darker outside. And it's only on about quarter after three. So I'm gonna get home before those temperatures start dropping and the ice. The freezing rain, snow, ice, all that fun winter stuff. Yes. I'm gonna get home before that starts. Plus I got to go to the store because it's fixing to turn cold, and we want a batch of chili. And I'm going to clean these up. Give me just a minute. I'm going to go get it one more uh, tray or screen. I'll go down to this side screen and see if I can get most of the dust out. And 
the seeds stay in the screen. Some of the seeds have fell through, but not many. But it's gotten rid of most of all the dust. hurry up and finish this one and what fell through I'll run through the second screen and if there's still seeds in the powder then I will put them back into the chafe to get to go through all over again another day I hope you have enjoyed this video and it's been informative to you and showing you how to use screens, how to create clean seeds different ways. And boy, let me tell you, I've cleaned a lot of seeds today. I've cleaned the uh, uh, Mad Dog Skull Cap and uh, Motherwort, Siberian Motherwort, and also some Amaranth. I've done a little fast thing of Amaranth, and I think that's it. It's been a busy day, or busy last two days. I hope you enjoy this video and it motivates you as well to save your seeds because you're going to need to. You need to save as many seeds as possible yearly. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone stay safe and sound out there and watch your backs. Keep on prepping, keep on stocking, keep on saving. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. May you each be blessed. Take care, everyone. See you soon.